Hey everyone, this is Brandon with Guardian Safe and Lock. We're here to install a simplex on a healthcare temporary door. So what we're essentially doing is a swap on this old hardware. It had failed and what they're doing to keep it unlocked is using tape on the side of the door. So what we're gonna do is swap it out. We'll show you the steps and hopefully you enjoy this video. All right, first thing is using the key to unscrew this back piece. Here's the first step. Move these screws on the back side. Shake them off. And the rest of the lower set shake them out as well. Actually, two internal screws right here for the latch. That's why. That's all. And we remove the old latch, and that's it for the taking off portion of the lever. Installing the latch. Most doors, especially on a commercial property, are at a two and three quarter inch back set. So the prongs are at right at length. This portion is the dead latch, which keeps the latch from being pushed back. And so all this is going to go inside the cam of the simplex lever set. All right, put the lever on. There's the second screw. You don't have to over tighten these. Usually, once there's enough tension, about as far as you need to go. 
so it doesn't start binding up. Okay. Alright, next time we do is install this interior time cover plate. Right there. The last thing we have to do is install this lever on the inside trim. Use an ice pick to depress C clip, which allows the latch to come on or the lever to come on. Right now, the current code for simplex locks whenever they come out of the factory is depressing two and four and then three. And it locks the door. It only works once and then it re engages and locks. So two and four together at the same time, three. All right, the next thing we have to do is change the factory code to the customer provided code. So we have to Take the corkscrew out. All right. If you observe down the barrel, there's a flat piece that I have to turn to be able to reset the lock. Next thing we do is turn the outside lever, the latch should retract. And we enter the code, which the factory code is two and four and three. And then we insert the spanner wrench. Turn it vertical. Cut it. Alrighty. And then from there, we enter the new code, which We'll just put as one, two, three. We'll turn the lever and it retracts the latch. We'll turn it again, it doesn't work, which shows that it accepted the code. And that's it. The last thing we have to do is uh, install the spinner plug back in. Once you reset your code, we'll change the combination, it should be good to go. All right, guys, now that we're done with the Simplex L1000 series lever set, uh, if you don't mind following us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and subscribing on YouTube and checking out our new website, we're always pumping out new content, blogs, and newsletters every month. So if you don't mind giving us a follow.